or live on the streets of L.A., baby, right in front of some boy. We need to find out what's going on with some big love. Have you ever dated more than one guy at the same time? Ever had multiple boyfriends? No. Never in your life? No, never in my life. All right, Mr. Lovers, uh, this is what I need to know. Do you believe in big love? That's what we're talking about. Big love. A lot of love. More than one person. A lot of love. More than one person is all uh, good. Depends on who you are. Me, I, I like one, but I love big love, too. Have you ever loved more than one person at the same time? Yes, I have. Have you had multiple boyfriends at the same time? Yes, I have. You love big love, too, so you like being with more than one person? Uh, yeah, I like being more than one person in two different relationships. More than one person, loving them at the same time. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, of course. What's the largest amount of men that you juggled at the same time? Three. How do you juggle multiple lovers? How do you do that? When one is acting the fool, you, you, you call them next. Do you believe in more than just one person? No, just very monogamous. That's very monogamous? Right. Yes, one person at a time. Me and our dog, we our cat. We clean up our mess. Yes, I Swing it. Come on up here, miss. What's your question or comment? Hello. Hello. Um, my boyfriend and I, we're big lovers, if you will. And um, when we're out on the town, we are looking at couples, and if they're giving us the eye, you know, we're like, oh, should we go up to them? So, Dr. Tico, I wanted to know, how do we approach them without looking good? No, no, you big lovers, are you, or are you swingers? Which one is it? <laughs> Both. Oh. oh. <laughs> you know what? The best thing to do is have the women approach each other first. In the why, why do you say that? Because in the lifestyle, if, if, if the woman's comfortable, us guys, we're going to have fun anyway. Okay? <laughs> so you have to approach the other woman first and kind of break the ice and then lead it into that. Why are you making faces, Kim? It's all, I've heard it's all about the women, really. I, I, I just can't imagine sitting there with my man and a couple or a woman approaches me. Tell me, excuse me, uh, I was wondering, uh, <clears throat> can I have him? <laughs> <laughs> She looked like George. That would be a problem. Go ahead. Uh, oh. Hey, boys, I know you've been sitting here taking this all in. Keep, keep it real with me, man. As, How do you feel about swinging? As long as it can be selective swinging. What, what is selective swinging? Two beautiful women and me. <laughs> what? That's the only way I'm going to swing. That's the only way it's going down. And if it's got to be any other way, the more drinks, you know how it is, my brother, they get a little slimmer and a little sexier after each cocktail. <laughs> he said it, yes, he did. What's your question or comment? All right, Dr. Okito. Um, Why are the questions going to Dr. Okito? Because we're getting sexier and sexier. Yes, he is. <laughs> you know, I know in the polyamorous community, right. there must be jealousies at times. But that's Robin's How do you situation. deal with it? Either way. Well, how do you deal with jealousy? You deal with jealousy like you deal with any emotion. You look at it and see what, it's, what you can learn from it. In other words, if you're jealous, it's, it's telling you there's something either going on with the relationship or something else or something inside you. Usually it's personal insecurity. And we're so afraid in this culture to face those insecurities. And when you go through it, you become more confident in yourself when you start facing what's really making me jealous. There's got to be classes person? on this somewhere. No, I'm very serious. To, to deprogram people from being jealous, Absolutely. come on. We do teach them There's got to be some slashing or some tires or uh, something. No, no, no. Actually not. If you're really trying to communicate, tires, you know how we do. Go check your car after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the question is for Robin. How do you juggle both of the relationships, and have you ever gone out as a group with all of your um, amours? Uh, yes, I have, and that was actually kind of interesting. I had a conference, and my two partners were at the conference, and I hadn't seen either one of them in a while. So you had a conference inside the conference? Well, sort of. Like one of them spent the night with me one night, and then the next one the next night, and the next one. We just kind of traded off. Now, now here, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Weren't you tired? No, I had a really good time. <laughs> Kim talking about some yes. Ooh, that's my hero right there. So let, <laughs> let's, let's, hey, hey, George, let's get into some of the business of some of the audience members. Okay. So could you see yourself in a polyamorous relationship? Yes. 
Why do you see it as being a possibility? Because I would like to experience more than one relationship with more than one man. See, never trust a woman in a church dress. Go on, girl. Go <laughs> What do you mean? My question is twofold. I want to know why is it so hard for you all to stay monogamous? And secondly, have you ever been in a monogamous relationship? Great question. First of all, she's too tall to have that light voice. <laughs> <laughs> What's so hard for men to stay monogamous? Yes. Y you want me to keep it real? Because you know yes. I don't care. I'm not here just to be the host. I keep it real as well. <laughs> yes. Men are not monogamous by nature. Right, okay. We're, we're not. You do understand that. And how's that? Why are you leaning back with attitude? I'm just trying to, why she get tight on me? Do they ask for an answer? But because we're just not. I mean, some things just is what it is. So are you saying you can't be in a monogamous relationship? I'm saying it's not my objective. I think for no, both, no, it's not. <laughs> you talking to the wrong brother. I'm not here to be pop. This is same Mike Bay. And that is, that is what you're trying to do at all, is it? Right, I mean, yeah. But if we were in Africa, think about it. If we were in Africa, us as black women, we would have one man and uh, you, Esmeralda, uh, uh, or, or, or Kachita or whatever, you would have to go get the lion, I go take care of the kids, and, and you have them on Monday, and I say, look here, I'm gonna take them on Wednesday, and we would all be okay with that. Yeah, but you would also have a plate in your lip. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't see nobody going to do that. I can't talk to you. Do that. Put the plate I'm just in saying, I'm just saying, that's what I call I don't see nobody putting the plate in their lip. Said, see, my God. Oh, let me shut it down for you. Here's a question for, uh, well, Morris, I'm going to throw you in the mix, too. Is monogamy and commitment the same thing, Robin? No, absolutely not. Commitment is a committed agreement between one or more people. Commitment can be involved three people, four people. It doesn't matter. It's not the same as monogamy. Then y'all just find a way to just uh, be freaks and then justify it. <laughs> a lot of big words. Actually, yeah. you know, yeah. I don't know. They did. They did. You know, they found a lot of big words and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of smooth way to say, you know what, we just gonna be freaky as hell. Well, yeah. hey, wait a minute. Everybody is different. Everybody's different in their sexuality. No two people want the same thing. So why should relationships be any different? You don't want to drive the same car that I want to drive. Why would we want to have the same kind of relationship? We have one relationship, and we're all supposed hey, George, to want it. Hey, George, we all have freak potential. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my question is to Robin and the doctor. Um, do you ever see yourself in the future with just one person and fully committed in a marriage relationship after this swinging is over? Um, <laughs> oh, like, wait, 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 wait. Ah, hey, what, what, what are you implying? You swing for a minute and the swing just leaves you at a certain age. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like you grow out of swinging. <laughs> well, I would feel that it would get old sooner or later. Now, hold on, let's, 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 let's entertain this idea. Is monogamy something that gets old quicker or swinging? Hey, okay, have a seat. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye. Go on. Get on out of here. Uh, I mean, really, I just have to keep it real. Go ahead, Kim. Uh, question, what's the screening process? You know, with all these uh, venereal diseases and, and AIDS and all this stuff, and we swinging and we're not talking about, what's the say, just in case I want to come to the mansion for research with my company? Absolutely. No, no, you're right. <laughs> go to, go to, the, uh, to the mansion in January, and in March, you can't stop coughing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Man, I shouldn't have went to that party. <laughs> What would you like to say to all that? And it's not a black or white issue. In general, with people who are out there cheating as opposed to being honest, your, your final word would be what? Just be honest about what you want, what you need, and, and who you are. People are not really, I don't think men or women are naturally monogamous. A few maybe, but most are not. All right, it's just uh, not part of our animal makeup. Dr. Keto, myself, Kim, and George will be coming by for uh, research at the bench. And thank you very much. We'll be right back. One of Chicago's funniest comedians, Sean Morgan, on the and at the car show, shut it down.